Okay, guys, I'm really excited. Remember when the Irishman and I went on our date date to the antique mall? Guess what I brought home? Can you see that? It's on this day in history. This is my favorite kind of book because it has all of these things from this day in history. There's over 2,000 years of like front page news and like events and anniversaries and things in this book. And I found this and it was a great buy. It was like a $50 book and I think I got it for like 16 bucks. So you know me, I like to save money. Oh, Walter's back there. He wants in the house. But on this day in history, a couple of things happened. Uh, Popper's burial for Mozart. Mozart the composer, Wolfgang Amadeus Deus Mozart. He died in Vienna of kidney failure at the age of 35 when he was at the height of his genius. Um, he wrote his first composition at the age of five and played before the Vienna court at the age of six and went on to concert, do a concert tour of Europe um, when he was seven, and he composed his first symphony by the age of nine. He has written more than 600 works, and his, off, his work was often too deep and complex for his audiences, though he was um, a profound influence on other musicians. Um, he was dogged by money problems in the end, and only the grave digger attended his burial in a Viennese suburb. Isn't that sad? I didn't know this. I don't, I just, I thought, just things like this interest me. I like to share these things with you guys. Also, on this day in history, in 1933, um, prohibition ended. The U.S. celebrated the end of a 14-year-long prohibition, and Utah became the last state to ratify the 18th Amendment, um, I'm sorry, the 21st Amendment, which effectively nullifies the 18th Amendment of 1919. And, um, it was... A long campaign by the temperance movement, the Women's Christian Temperance Union, and it was onset by the grain shortage. So um, it led to, you know, lucrative business for people like Al Capone. And um, even it said that even the law enforcement um, was against the prohibition. Um, Anti-prohibition wets have now won their campaign to restore individual freedom of choice. But this book has all kinds of great stuff. Um, it was also George Custer, um, you know, a cavalry commander, Custer. It was, it was his birthday in 1839. Um, he was known for his last stand against the Cheyenne and Sioux Indians. Um, and also Little Richard, who was born in 1935, you know, good golly, Miss Molly. And... <laughs> Tutti Fruity. But anyways, I have husband's right here. He's just listening to me because I'm excited. I found the book in the car. It was hiding because I had hid it um, because I bought another book for Michael for Christmas and had this in there. But I just, um, he's getting stuff out of the car and I got some stuff out of the car and I'm super excited about this book. Also, The Death of the Man Who Drew the World, the guy that did like the world maps. Um, he was a philosopher, a calligrapher. He was a a technician, an instrument maker, and all these things. I can't pronounce his last name. It was Gerardus Mercator, I think is how you say his last name. But anyways, um, he depicted the world's curved surface on flat paper and did the use of the longitude-latitude lines. It soon became a standard practice that we now know for longitude and latitude. Um, and he designed the map of the world in 1538. And three years later, a globe based on the maps and descriptions um, by Marco Polo and Spanish Portuguese navigators were used. But, um, let's see, it says he worked on his world atlas and history of the world for 20 years, but he never completed it. And his son was supposed to finish it. And I don't know if that happened. Maybe later on in the book it'll say something about that. But, um, yeah, but he also helped the Netherlands become, like, a sea power. So, I don't know. There's just interesting people. Some people that you've never heard of. Some people that you are know, you know, that you know that are famous and you recognize some of the names. But I think it's really interesting. I think it's important to remember some of these things. Um, and I think that it's kind of fun to share. So yay, another little bit of happiness that I have found in a book that I wanted to share with all of you guys. So yay, I don't know if I'll do this every day, but <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm sitting here stroking my book, loving my book. Don't you wish you were a book right now? <laughs> He's finishing the bathroom. I'm going to go pick up little Bubba Ray, my little Bubba Roo. How white trash redneck is that? My Bubba Ray, my little Ray, my little Elsie. But I'm going to go. I just wanted to pop in and say, yay, I found this book, and I'm so happy because it has like over 8,000 events and quotes and trivia and news things and anniversaries and 
like 700 illustrations of really cool shit <laughs> like shit that makes me happy and excited so anyways thought that he's over here smiling and cheesing because I'm happy he it makes him happy when I'm happy and right now I'm happy so it's funny the little things that'll make you happy and I'm just embracing these things that make me happy and clinging to them so the bathroom will be 100% done tonight so yeah, he's touching up paint so he'll be paid handsomely and I'm excited <laughs> about that too so anyways I'm gonna let you guys go and I will maybe check in with you guys later maybe one more decorating the Christmas tree and whatnot um, but anyways I hope everyone's doing well on this Wednesday and yeah I'll see you guys later bye